they have implemented a number of changes, some over the last couple of weeks, some are going into effect relatively soon. Here are the changes, and uh, some of the more significant ones that stand out is increasing the amount of money that can be offered to passengers so that they volunteer to give up their seats. It may go up to $10,000. It'll start far lower than that, but that's the cap at $10,000. Seated customers cannot be bumped unless there is a safety or a security issue, and United says it plans to reduce the amount of overbooking. With regard to the incident about two and a half weeks ago involving Dr. David Dow being dragged off of a plane, United admits that there were mistakes clearly made handling Dr. Dow. One of the problems is that the crew lacked authority to offer more compensation. And this morning during an interview with NBC News, United CEO Oscar Munoz says the combination of offering more money and working with the passengers will be the key to avoiding a situation like this in the future. Because it's not just monetary, it's a combination of when can I get to my destination. So what we've done is not only, in essence, provided the up to $10,000 mark, but we're going to have an alternative solutions desk, which in effect, when you come off the aircraft, we have a, a, we have a process for you individually. That those teams will be put together over the next couple of months as you take a look at shares of United. One of the other things that you, the uh, airline says it will be working on is increasing training for the crews and giving them more tools, including an app that they can use at airports so that they can handle these situations quickly. Uh, and it's not handled the same way that it was two and a half weeks ago. So we'll see if these changes make much of a difference, guys. We're looking at declines across the entire industry group. Uh, yep. Looks like the worst performing S&P industry right now. Southwest down more than 4%. Just heard Kramer talking to the CEO. What's the read on yep. airline earnings? Well, the reason that they're down today is because of what happened with American Airlines. It, it reported earnings today. But last night, the airline announced that it's going to be offering pilots and flight attendants about $930 million in pay raises over the next three years. They're in the middle of a contract. And they're going into them while this contract's going on and saying, we're going to be bumping the pay so that you're equal with our competitors. Well, Jamie Baker from J.P. Morgan came out, knocked the stock down today. And others are saying, wait a second, what's going on with airline costs? That's what's weighing on the airline stocks today. And, uh, Phil, we talked to Gary Kelly last hour who uh, said apparently... Although their overbooking practice is fairly mild in his view, right. they're going to discontinue that service. That sounded interesting. That, that's a significant piece of news from that interview, Carl. The fact that Southwest has said, we were already looking at it, but we're going to stop overbooking. It puts more pressure on other airlines to look at whether or not they ultimately get rid of overbooking as well. And while some people will sit there and say, yeah, well, you don't bump that many people, go ahead and end it. It is important to note that Wall Street does look at the metric in terms of load factors. How many seats do you fill? Are you going to leave empty seats because you don't want to overbook a flight? That may change how people look at the airlines. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.